look disheveled, but <laughs> so our flight was supposed to leave Nassau at like, what was it, 2.35 p.m. And then we were supposed to get to Charlotte at 5 and then leave there at 6.30 to come to Seattle. So we were supposed to be home at like 9.22 p.m. last night. Our flight out of Nassau got delayed almost, I think it was three and a half hours by the time we actually took off. So our connecting flight basically left before we even took off from Nassau. So missed our connecting flight. It was the last one out last night. And so they rebooked us on the 9.20 a.m. flight this morning. So then we get to Charlotte finally at like, I don't even know. I think it was like eight something last night. Waited in this huge customer service line. I honestly felt bad for the like customer service agents because there were so many people with missed flights. One lady was trying to get to Texas and she had like her husband and three little toddlers with her and they told her they wouldn't be able to get her back until Tuesday. And this was Saturday night. And they were like, well, there's this connecting, like it had a ton of connecting flights. And she was like, I can't lug around three kids to like 10 different connecting flights. And then some people were looking at like renting cars to drive to Atlanta and fly out of there. It was just insane. But they comped our hotel for the night and we got like food vouchers or whatever. So at least they covered everything. But yeah, we were supposed to be home at 920 last night and we ended up getting home. I think we landed at like one o'clock this afternoon so we have a ton of laundry to do i did a grocery pickup order so i'm gonna go get gas go pick up groceries and then just grab something for dinner tonight i feel so bad for cody he's still working out, out of town and it's sunday now so he we got home around 2 33 and he has to be up at 3 30 in the morning to go to work tomorrow through Thursday so he's not even gonna he'll get one night at home so it's just been a lot I've been, been wearing the same clothes for two days I had to use Cody's deodorant we tried our bags made it to Charlotte we tried getting them for the night and then like rechecking them this morning just so we'd have our stuff but it was an hour and a half wait to get our bags so we were like screw it it's fine whatever thankfully I had thrown a pair of my pajamas in Cody's bag before we left so I at least had something different to sleep in but yeah we're in Cody's deodorant had to use the hotel shampoo and conditioner haven't changed in two days it's been a rough like 36 hours so i'm gonna go get groceries get some dinner go home shower and i'm so excited to sleep in my own bed <laughs> and then i think we're gonna have to take turns in the household doing laundry because i way overpacked i brought like outfits for every day and the washer and dryer there was not great our airbnb wasn't it was super nice, amazing location. The amenities in the house, not the best. So we didn't really do a ton of laundry, but I thought I would be wearing actual outfits every day and we pretty much ended up being in swimsuits and cover-ups every day. So most of the stuff I didn't even wear, but it's so like muggy there that all of our stuff just kind of smells dingy. So I'm having to wash everything anyway. So I have like three loads of laundry I need to do. And then, yeah back back to work in the morning i literally have bags under my eyes hello guys i'm home <laughs> got everything figured out from last weekend it's wednesday now but monday was chaotic when we got home on sunday our mailbox was open and empty and we called the post office and said like, hey, we've been gone for a week, we have no mail. And went in to see if they were like holding it there maybe. We didn't have any, our carrier said she was delivering it all. So they said it most likely all got stolen. And so I had to like file a police report, report it to like the mail fraud or mail theft investigators. And then I had to call my bank because I had like bank statements stolen. It was just a whole thing. And then 
yeah so i had to get that all figured out monday got caught up on laundry and then have just been working and then cody left super early monday morning to go back to work but his job site's been really slow this week so he actually just surprised me and came home today and so i figured since he's home i'm gonna make some chocolate chip cookies so that's what we're doing so I, my like go-to chocolate chip cookie recipe is the Magnolia table, the first volume, which sh I have the first volume, second volume, and then she's actually coming out with the third volume, I think in May. So I have that on my birthday list. I'm obsessed with like all things Joanna Gaines. So we're making chocolate chip cookies, have all my ingredients out, and then these things are amazing like instead of having to use foil all the time they're just like reusable non-stick mats and i've had them for probably almost two years and they still work great which they're getting kind of dingy so i should probably get new ones but i these are like my go-to non-stick mats i just got them on amazon so yeah let's get cooking <laughs> here and I love them and I felt so bad because when winter came I just left when winter came I just left their food out there and throughout the winter I would see them coming to get some which I thought they like migrated during the winter or something but anyways now that it's like sunshine out and stuff I brought the feeder in and just washed it and I need to make them some more food I would just rather make it at home than buy it honestly I've heard that the red dye is like really bad for them and it's literally sugar and water so like why not make it at home quite look done yet so we can start the sugar water so it's one part sugar to four parts water so i'm gonna do four cups of water and one cup of sugar and then I normally um, just put it in like a pitcher or an old like juice jug or something and just keep it in the fridge 
and like reuse it but it's only good i think for like two weeks so you have to keep switching them out so that is that let these cool for a second and then I'll put them on the cooling rack. Okay. I'm gonna transfer these onto the cooling rack and Cody's favorite cookie is chocolate chip cookies fresh out of the oven. So we'll have to take him some downstairs and get his review. Taste touched, you know. And I'm gonna get this one prepped to go back in when those ones are done. And then our sugar water is starting to boil. Okay, so I got this one prepped to go back in the oven. the ones in there are done and then our water is boiling so basically you just boil the sugar in the water until it dissolves which it looks like it's pretty much dissolved and then and then you just let it cool so i normally will like give it a minute and then put it into a jug and just put it in the fridge and then once it's cool you can add it to your feeder and then ready for them to eat. So we'll just leave that there for right now. And then I'm just waiting for the other batch of cookies to be done. And then once I finish the last batch, I'll take cookies. Okay, just got the cookies switched again. Had the last couple cookies prepped. Quick intermission. Do you wanna go outside? Either of you want to go outside? Guys, it has been so nice out yesterday and today. And it's honestly so refreshing. <laughs> I feel like I, right before like Hawaii and Bahamas, I was just in, wow, my hair. I was just in one of those little like winter ruts, you know? I don't want to say seasonal depression, but just like, you know, it's cold. You've been cooped up in the house, just kind of. There's nothing really to do. It's after the holidays. Just kind of in a little rut, but this one time it's giving me life. Come on. Come on. I really need to go clean out my car. It's um I'm normally really good about keeping up with like keeping it clean, but through the winter I didn't. <laughs> And I really need to clean it. And I have like weather techs and stuff. So I need to clean those as well. And then just like vacuum it out and stuff. But 
I wanted to do it tonight because the weather's so nice, but then Moose has a vet appointment on Monday, so he's just gonna get it hairy and slobbery again, but oh well, I'll probably just do it anyways. And then I think we, if it's nice this weekend or maybe next weekend, we'll take the dogs to the dog park because they haven't been since last summer. I mean, our yard is huge, so they can just run around here, but they have so much fun playing with the other dogs. So I might do that. And then on Friday, it's Savannah. You would have seen her in the Bahamas vlog. It's her birthday. So we're going over to their house for like a taco night. And then our truck check engine light came on right before our trip. I told Cody it sounded like a post-trip problem. <laughs> and now we're post-trip. So we got to fix that. I honestly think it just needs a good tune-up. It's a 2014. So I mean, they kept it in really good condition, but... It just needs like an oil change and spark plugs and I don't know, Cody can deal with that and I'll um, supervise. <laughs> Miss, come here, come here, come here. Oh my goodness, where's your brother? Do we lose him? Boomer! Uh oh. I can never keep track of both of them. <laughs> um, you know, there's lots of pros to living in the woods. There's also a lot of cons, like your dogs taking off back into the woods. And now, here I am. Hey, I see a tail. Get over here, moose. I'm not going all the way back there. Yo, come here, both of you. They find these like, I don't know. Oh my gosh, they're both back there. I mean, my slides. Yo, come here, both of you. Where's your brother? Where'd he just go? Oh my gosh. It's all dead too, so it hurts. Yo. Stop! Are you eating a stick? Come on. Both of you. In the yard. Are you stuck? Bro. Okay. Got him out. That was fun. We got 31 seconds on our cookies. Okay. Come on. We gotta get the cookies. Come on. Come on. <laughs> no, back door. Back door. Come on. They're so funny. Just a day in a life being a dog mom. Back door. Come on. Same one we went in or came out of. Oh. Perfect timing. Come on. In the house. I don't have time to put this on my tripod right now. Put the hummingbird food in here and then just got a jug. Okay. The only thing about the sugar water is it's very sticky. And this part goes in here. Okay. 
got our jug and then I'm just gonna put it in the fridge for it to like fully cool down. And then later I'll pour it in their feeder and put it out for them. Ooh, that didn't work. have a black Sharpie up here. There we go. Coming forward. Food. Perfect. People need to know um, the cookie rating now that you're awake. They're very good. Out of five. They have lots of liquid chips. It's fun. Yes! Out of five. We're feeding our homework. Oh, yeah. How'd that go? I don't know. I used your jug, though. Yeah. It, like, collapsed. Now they have fresh nectar. Boogas on the grill. He comes home for a day and I put him to work. Did you tell dad you got stuck in the woods today? Did you tell him? Go tell him. Lisa. <laughs> Where is he? You like to be in the hugs too, huh? Yeah. You want to go to your cousin's own party? Play with the Ruger? Yeah. Let's see, the final product. Mm, mm, mm. You don't wear your apron. My apron? Yeah, your apron I got you. <laughs> I don't know, are those done enough for you? Yeah. Okay, let me shut that. Such a simple burger night. Right, okay. Ew. Yeah. Oh, Boomer. have to go into the office today 
but I feel like poop. I don't know what's going on, but like when we, I wasn't, wow, I can't talk. I was wearing my retainers at the beginning of our trip. And then the last few days I just was tired and didn't put my retainers in. And then when we got home, I like started wearing them again. And I don't know if I need new ones or what the deal is, but I woke up. This was like, what day was this? What's today? Today's Thursday. It's like Tuesday morning. I woke up and I have like the inside of my cheek is like swollen and I think it's like cut. I'm assuming for my retainers, but it's so swollen that I keep biting it. Like when I chew or try and shut, like clench my jaw or anything. And then today I woke up and now like my lymph nodes are all swollen on this side of my face. So I don't know if it's like infected now or what. My face is all swollen. I don't know if you can even tell. I don't, this is all puffy and it hurts. And I'm like, how are you supposed to like let it heal when it's in your mouth and you keep like biting it? And then I'm also like, do you go to the dentist for that or the doctor? Because it's like a mouth thing. But also like my lymph nodes are so I don't know. Anyways. We're going into the office. I have my like, um, what's it called? I have my like yearly review or whatever for work today. So that's what we're doing. I am dressed real cash cause like I said, just not feeling it today. So I just have my Air Forces, these jeans I'm obsessed with. I got them at Target and they're amazing and then this is from magnolia and my hat actually i got at magnolia too so we're just repping joanna Gaines today okay so i'm just leaving the office heading home and then i have to clock back on for a few hours and then i think cody messaged me because it's his cousin's birthday today and i guess they're going out um tonight my eyes i guess they're going out tonight for his birthday and invited us so Probably gonna go out to dinner with them and then tomorrow oh I made a dentist appointment for in the morning to get my cheek looked at because it hurts so we'll see how that goes apparently they said that um I thought about just writing it out and then it Monday because it's Thursday so Monday if it was still hurting then go get it looked at but the lady said she'd rather me come in sooner rather than later in case it is infected then I'll have to get on antibiotics so it has to be for my retainers so they said they were gonna look at my retainers and see if they need adjusted because I'm pretty sure it like cut my cheek and that's why it's not healing is because it's right where my teeth are so my teeth just keep like cutting it I don't know so random I always have the randomest weirdest things happen to me but anyways that is the plan for the rest of today still can't talk clearly didn't get my car cleaned yesterday but I think we're gonna take Moose with us to Cody's brother and sister-in-law's tomorrow and then he has a bed appointment Monday so it's just gonna get dirty anyway so might as well just wait until afterwards so maybe I'll do that next week but anyways what we're up to today. She stayed a little longer than she should have. She's been, she's, she's served you guys. Happy birthday. Why'd you flinch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She is good. I finally met Jay. <laughs> Okay, we're back home and I think I'm going to end the vlog off here for this week and then I'll probably start a new one tomorrow for a little weekend in my life vlog. So, I hope you guys enjoyed and had a good week and I will see you in the next one. Please say bye. Say goodbye.